Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Everybody. How you all going today? All right, I'm uh, still waiting for my gear to turn up. We just start uh, Tuesday today. Um, it was Australia Day long weekend last weekend. That's uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, it's also Chinese New Year, which of course there's a lot of Chinese um, suppliers and. Um, stuff that I get and a lot of Australians are Chinese so they are all on New Year so I'm just waiting for gear to turn up but basically while I'm doing that um, you can see I've got a red and a black bus bar over there now you see now my last one I had a bit of a rat's nest around the connectors so to get away from that I got this bus bar which means these two bus bars so everything's going into the bus bar and that'll be just everything except the inverters that is the inverter and yeah so there should only be two wires coming off the line side of the shunt and the fuse and that's my wife she's just heading off to the post office glorious day by the way absolutely glorious day look at this beautiful beautiful day it's glorious. Um, a couple of my friends have asked me why I'm actually doing this change. And I'll just explain it really quick. Um, after Ziggy got sick, it was a real wake up call for us. It just showed us that anything could happen at any minute during the day. And now you can do this you can treat this two ways you can be worried about it and never go anywhere or we can get out and have as much fun as we can while we can and that's exactly what we're going to do adventure before dementia people okay so or anything else for that matter you know so i'm i'm putting these lithium batteries in here now at the moment during during winter when it's uh during winter during summer here um, there are, you can't really go camping for the simple fact is you can't cook your food okay see these um, just there you have all seen this two burner um, camping cook stove we've got there is no such thing as a camping cook stove that is rated to be used during total fire bans because they've got exposed flames now I've been to the fire department I've been to barbecues galore, I've been to all the shops, um, there's no barbecues and there's no camping fires, uh, camping kitchen stoves rated to be used uh, during you know, those times. So we can't go camping, we're stuck here uh, when it's like this. We can't go and find a nice river and camp next to it and, and um, light the stove. Yeah, you could do it. The chances of it starting a fire is minimal. But if you did start a fire, um, you're liable for whatever damage that fire does to persons or property. Uh, you've also, and if it kills anyone, you've also committed manslaughter. Um, uh, the risks outweigh um, the enjoyment value. So I took the batteries out. There was nothing wrong with those batteries. They were what? Just over two years old nothing wrong with them at all I gave those batteries to another mate of mine who's also setting up a camper trailer and uh, I mean he was totally wrapped I said look I've got two really good batteries here come and get them free and he was really wrapped um, so that all worked out really good so we're putting in these two lithium batteries um, both of these batteries together are meant to be worth five or six of those 100 amp hour AGMs I took out um, and at the back here we're going to put in the kitchen excuse me I'm just I, I, I reuse uh, like these are all off cuts from other jobs uh, no point going and buying uh, new wires when you got plenty of off cuts sitting around so basically 
yeah we're upgrading the inverter upgrading the batteries I'm upgrading my wiring because once this is done uh, one of my subscribers uh, Jack Turtle I think his name is Jack Turtle he worked out that if I use these to 100% discharge I will get five just over five years and if I use them to that's 20% uh, discharge uh, or state of charge or depth of discharge I will get um, over 20 years 21 years out of these two batteries um, now anyway that, that, that so I'm gonna get a long time out of them so once it's in them I shouldn't have to touch this the, the wiring on this again so it's involving all sorts of work to get it right we've got to run I'm gonna put a PowerPoint back here somewhere um, we're gonna buy an induction cooker and that way you know we can go camping whenever we feel like it we've got the option of gas or electric um and in the winter time we could even have a little fire <coughs> so basically that's why we're all doing it um so i've got to get an electrician to wire the um inverter in um because there's going to be a um it's going to be safe there's going to be a, a rcd residual current device um mounted into it and all that sort of stuff uh because you all know i'm a, when it comes to wiring and wiring systems um my wires might be a look a bit rough but it all comes down to one legal legal and two um it's got to work it's got to work simple as that you know i fuse everything i do everything okay so we're going to put the inverter remote on off over here i'm going to put another panel under here uh, we're going to put the inverter on off over here the BMV 702 is coming over here and uh, there's going to be a power point somewhere here I don't know if it's going to be on this back door I don't know if it's going to be on this back of the kitchen here somewhere here is going to be a power point for Ziggy to plug in an induction cooker all right <coughs> So that's it people now um uh a lot of these wires all have to be joined and lengthened some can be shortened like all those wires in that corner there that go to the fridge and freezer which are those two plugs on the top right over there um but m most of them have to be lengthened now the way i do that i've got these little little beauties and you can see they got a lump of solder that's soft solder in the middle and then they got glued ends and i got some different sizes i got some blues i got some yellows okay and what that does it lets me um join the wires okay i get a, a waterproof tight join because this is glue here you can see it's even gone down in between i've got two red wires in here thin red wires and a thicker one coming out you can see in here i don't know the glue lines there you can see it's even gone down in between the wires so that's a waterproof joint waterproof joint uh, you could leave it like that i don't i put tape on it doesn't matter which tape this is the earth tape but it's what i've got at the moment so i'm going to tape those both together like that and then they're going to be I, I slide this sleeve down and it's going to have a sleeve Put over it because you don't want any rubbing you don't want any accidents or mistakes and that's that's a soldered uh soft solder joint uh waterproof and it'll last as long as the trailer does all right as long as it doesn't get moisture in it so they're they're watertight and i shouldn't really have moisture inside this trailer anyway so all right so that's what i'm up to um again i'm i'll show you as um a bit more when i'm done with all this uh wiring I, I might not get done today it was 41 yesterday no breeze so it was very hot so i did a little bit of work in the trailer but i was just dripping sweat so i stopped and went inside um and i'll probably do a bit today and it's going to be another hot day today so um when i start dripping sweat again i'll just stop go inside have a shower and, and do something else in, in in the house you know all right so that's what's going on basically 
Um, what inspired us to do this was was uh, Ziggy getting crook. It gave us a huge kick in the bum. And uh, if you want to do this or something like this in a camper trailer or a caravan, all right, you can always afford it. You do what Ziggy and I do, and that's every spare cent. Be frugal, and every spare cent you have put aside, and then you can just go out on these trips. You know, they're, they're, they're awesome fun, and uh, it lets us both do what we love. Me, I love going bush. My wife, she loves going bush and taking photos. Okay. All right, I'll just tack this on to the end of the video. I'm not finished yet. I've still got five wires down there. I've got to hook up. But basically, um, it's going to be a hell of a lot neater. I've still got to secure this wire. I've got these glue-on um, things that you put cable ties through. They're going down there along that piece of steel. I've got more wires running that way yet. So I'm not securing it yet. I've got an AC wire running that way for the AC power and I've got the uh, BMS cabling that's going to be running across there so um, uh, this bit of wire is going to stay loose until I've got it all done and I can uh, run it all uh, and then it's all going to be affixed, it's there, it's out of the way, it won't get anything on it um, or to damage it and yeah, it should look really good. So no more rat's nests on the connections over there. Um, I'm taking my time, doing it properly, uh, because once these new batteries come in, I won't see them again for at least, you know, if they work fine with no problems, at least 15 to 20 years. Uh, only, only thing I'll have to do from now, every now and then probably is hop on top of the uh, freezers to change that top fuse over there that 150 amp fast blow fuse I'm putting in over there um, what else do I have, I have to connect to the output of the fuses and the shunt well of course the inverter, that, the inverter won't go through those blocks alright so there you go, this is tacked on, I'll roll the ending now okay, see you later, keep safe, bye for now